Hey guys, it's Joe from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Molecule mattress. I'm going to be giving you a broad overview of this mattress, I'm going to be running through the pros, the cons, and telling you what type of person should get this mattress, so stay tuned. Alright, to get started, if you have any specific questions or you want me to give you a personal recommendation, all you have to do is leave a comment below. Alright, so we have the Molecule mattress here. I think it has a couple of unique qualities that makes it stand out. It's a bit thicker than the average all-foam mattress. It's supposed to be more breathable, create a, a cooler sleeping surface. And uh, it has uh, interesting new uh, types of foam as well, so I was excited to jump in and give it a try. Let's talk about the construction of the Molecule mattress, starting with the cover. The nice soft cover has a pretty cool texture to it. It actually kind of feels cool to the touch, uh, which I like. Moving on to the mattress now, we have a 12 inch mattress. Have a base layer, a basically transition layer, and then a memory foam layer. So this memory foam is very soft. You can see just how quickly it gives into pressure. It's faster to respond than normal memory foam, so you won't get that stuck feeling that you sometimes get with other memory foam mattresses. It's also very breathable, so that's one thing that really stands out about this mattress is it's memory foam mattress, but it's way more breathable than the average memory foam mattress. So very soft here. You'll see these little channels uh, here. This is where air can flow, so uh, just another way it's a, a pretty breathable mattress. This is a, a relatively firm layer, so you have a very soft layer and then um, a pretty good, much, much firmer layer there. So when you kind of combine that, you'll have a very soft feeling, and then it gets firm pretty quickly. So kind of, a, kind of a medium feel overall, I would say. So this has pretty good pressure relief overall uh, because of the memory foam. It's faster to respond than normal memory foam. Uh, it should be very breathable as well. Let's talk about firmness and feel. As far as firmness is concerned, I'd put this mattress at about a six out of 10, with 10 being the firmest. I would say maybe just a little bit softer than average. It's got a very soft top layer, but if you're sleeping on your side, for example, you'll press through that and feel a little bit of firmness underneath that. That's why I feel it's about a six out of 10. As far as the feel is concerned, it is a memory foam feel, but it's a little bit faster to respond. So it's pretty easy to, to move around. Um, there's not too much bounce. I'll show you here with this lacrosse ball. Not too much bounce. So it is a memory foam feel, but it's more of a balanced foam feel overall. I'm gonna talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions. Starting on my back, first thing I notice is my hips sink in. There's definitely five inches of comfort material and I think my hips are sinking in maybe a little bit too much. I'd probably want something a little bit firmer, a little bit more support. Switching onto my side, I definitely sink into the mattress. It's definitely pretty soft. Uh, there is a little bit of firmness, but I think the, uh, the pressure relief is, is pretty decent here. So not a bad match uh, on my side. Switching onto my stomach, I share the same thoughts that I had on my back. I think I'd probably want something a little bit firmer. I think my hips were sinking, sinking down to the mattress a little bit too much. Uh, so for me, I think on the side it was pretty good, and then on the back and stomach, I'd probably want something a little bit firmer. I want to give you a visual representation of where you might feel pressure points on this mattress. I've got a pressure map here. I'm going to lie down on my back, side, and stomach, and you're going to see anywhere from blue to no pressure all the way up to red to high pressure. The only thing to note is that if you have a different body type than I do, you may see a little bit different results, but let's get started. For a different perspective. Joe is 5'9", 160. I'm 6'7", 230. I definitely have a different body type and you should think about that when you're looking at a mattress. So we have the molecule here. Joe said it was a 6 out of 10 for firmness. I thought it was more like a 6.5 out of 10 for firmness. And I think that's because you have a soft upper layer and when I'm lying on it, especially on my side, I press through the upper layer and I feel the firmer layers beneath. So you'll see some red on my shoulders and my hips. On my back, my hips are sinking in. On my stomach, the same thing. I'm kind of feeling myself bowing into the mattress. So not a great match there in those positions. So I think overall, I was too heavy for this mattress. If you're a larger person, this might not be a best match for you. We get a lot of questions from people who sleep with the partner. They want to know if their partner is moving around on that side of the bed. Is that motion going to be isolated or is it going to transfer over to them and bother them at night? So we have a glass here. I'm going to test this by just kind of rolling around near this glass. 
See how this reacts? It's not moving too much. I'm going to get up here with my hands, create a little bit of a disturbance. You can see that the glass isn't moving too much. This is a pretty objective test. I also had Martin jump in and out of bed, kind of toss and turn, do things like that. Didn't really feel that motion transfer over, so I feel like this mattress is a pretty good option for couples. If you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the very edge of the bed, you may want to consider edge support. Now this is a 12 inch all foam mattress. You can see that the foam is collapsing here. So let's say I want to tie my shoes or something like that. May have a little bit of trouble. I'm going to lie down on my back near the edge of the bed. I don't really get the feeling that I'm going to be thrown off the bed or anything like that. But I would say even, even with that being the case, uh, I don't think that the edge support is really that great. Let's go over some of the pros of this mattress. I think this mattress is best for side sleepers. It's a bit softer than average, has a thicker uh, comfort material. So I think it's, in my opinion, best for, for side sleepers. It relieves pressure pretty well. It's also a very breathable mattress. If you're worried about sleeping hot, then I think this is a very good match for you. Um, you're definitely not gonna sleep hot on this mattress. Um, and it's also good for people who like sleeping in their mattress versus on. You definitely like sink into the mattress. So if you like that feeling, that's definitely what you get here. Now let's talk through some potential cons or who I think this mattress may not be the best fit for. I think if you're just a back or stomach sleeper, I would probably go for something a little bit firmer, something a little bit more supportive. If you just need something that has a little bit of extra support, this is a bit softer than average and it has five inches of comfort material. So. I think there's, there are more supportive mattresses out there, so that's something to know. So to wrap up, this mattress can be the right fit for you. I think if you're a side sleeper, the pressure relief's pretty good, has thicker comfort material. If you like the feeling of sinking into your mattress, really sleeping in your mattress, that's kind of the feel that you get here. And if you're worried about sleeping hot, this is one of the, the better mattresses um, at addressing that issue. I think if you are a back and stomach sleeper and need a little bit of extra support, I would probably look elsewhere for something that's a little bit firmer and more supportive. But that's basically it. If you're just getting started with your research, definitely check out mattressclarity.com. If you want to see a list of our top picks, you can simply Google Mattress Clarity Best Mattress and let me know if you have any questions.